So you may have heard in your classes that something to the one-half power, for example, 9 to the one-half, that this means the square root of 9. And the question is, why? Why does 9 to the one-half, or anything to the one-half, mean the square root? Is it just that someone decided that's what it's going to be, or is there a reason for it? And the answer is, there is a reason for it. And in this video, we'll see what that reason is. So the way we'll do this is we'll go ahead and write the square root of 9. We all know that this is 3. But the question is, why is the square root of 9 3? And of course, the answer is because 3 squared equals 9. OK, so let's take each side and raise it to the 1 half power. So at this point, we don't know that the 1 half power means square root. We're just raising it to the 1 half power. OK, so on the right, that's simple. That's just 9 to the 1 half. On the left, if you see my video about uh, variables with exponents, you know that having a power to another power means that you multiply them. So this is 3 to the 2 times 1 half. And of course, 2 times 1 half is 1. And 3 to the 1 is 3. So we're almost done. But what we have left is if we look up top now, we see that 3 is the square root of 9. So in other words, the square root of 9 is just another way of writing 3. So I can write equals square root of 9. And there we go. We're done. The left-hand side has square root of 9. The right-hand side has 9 to the 1 half. So indeed, 9 to the 1 half must equal the square root of 9. So it should be clear now, you can do that with any positive number, right? Instead of square root of 9, I could have done square root of 4, square root of 5, whatever I want. But let's go ahead and do it once in the most general case with just x's. So let's go ahead and take the square root of x. So we know that it's going to be x to the 1 half, but let's pretend we don't know that yet. We don't know what it's going to equal, so we just call it y. OK, well, what does it mean for the square root of x to be y? It means that y squared equals x. So this should look exactly like the last one, where 3 squared equaled 9. OK, again, let's take each side and raise it to the 1 half power. And again, on the right, there's really not much to do. And we'll follow exactly the same steps on the left-hand side. Power to a power means you multiply them. When you multiply them, you get y to the 1, and that's just y. And finally, looking up top, we see that y is just another way of writing square root of x. So there we go. On the left, we've got the square root of x. On the right, we've got x to the 1 half. So indeed, x to the 1 half power must mean the square root of x. I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions or if you want me to talk about any other topics, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks, everyone.